This is Dr. Andrew Huberman. He's helped thousands of people around the world incorporate science-based protocols to improve their life. For many people who have really busy mornings, it may be difficult to even know where to start. I wanted to share a version of his morning routine that can be done in 30 minutes or less so that more people can benefit from these life-changing protocols. The first thing to do is wake up at the same time every single day. Andrew recommends about 6 or 7 a.m., but this can vary depending on your work schedule. The next thing to do is to immediately open up all your blinds and windows in your home. Turn on any additional lights you have for immediate sunlight and definitely don't wake up and immediately look at your phone or notifications. Next thing to do is to immediately hydrate and he recommends adding a hint of sea salt for electrolytes and to skip the morning coffee because caffeine is not good right when you wake up in the morning. After drinking your sea salt water, he recommends beelining it for the outdoors in order to get natural sunlight in your eyes. About 5 to 10 minutes on a sunny day and maybe a little bit longer if it's cloudy and there's not as much natural light outside. When you get back inside, it feels really good to do some cold exposure. So the easiest way for most people is just to have a quick two minute cold shower. This will help wake you up in the morning and makes it even more so that you don't really need any caffeine or coffee to get awake in the morning. After that, in order to send yourself for the day and have a little bit of mindfulness and relaxation, you can do about five minutes of intentional breath work using a protocol he recommends called physiological size. Next thing you can do is in order to have your morning routine, instead of drinking caffeinated coffee, you can make decaf coffee or have tea. And proceed to pack your breakfast, lunch, get all your work stuff ready and head out for the day. You don't need to make time for breakfast because Andrew recommends intermittent fasting until about 11 a.m. each day. When you're really busy in the morning, it's so easy to just float through your mornings like a zombie, like so many people do on a day-to-day -day basis. If you make more of an effort to incorporate some of these science-based protocols in this manner, I've noticed personally it's improved my mindfulness, my energy levels, and the mood I have throughout each day now. Give it a try and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.